fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> campfires throughout the western United States, cowboys still tell of the mysterious phantom figure of the plains. He fought crime relentlessly. His blazing guns brought law and order to the frontier in the days when men openly defied the rules of society. And now, adventure is brought to life once more as Silver thunders down the trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old fellow! The town of Cottonwood is in danger! We must hurry! Hurry, old Silver! In the hills surrounding the town of Cottonwood, the old river beds were filled to overflowing by a steady rain which had continued for several days. Water roared down countless streams to pour into the artificial lake and overtax the dam. As our story begins, we find the masked man and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, riding through the downpour. The driving force of the rain blinded them. They had dropped their reins, trusting to the instinct of their horses to find shelter. It's impossible to see where we're going, Tonto. We'll have to let our horses find some shelter. Then, if we're cold, maybe. Rain that stuff for a long time. You think it'll continue through the night? That's right. If it keeps on much longer, the town will be in danger. Maybe flood come. The people dam the river to form Cottonwood Lake. If that dam breaks, the entire lake will flood the town. What them make lake for? To store water for the dry spells. It's a fine idea, Tonto. They never thought the dam would have to stand the strain of a storm like this. It's Worst storm in many moons. The worst those pioneers in Cottonwood have ever seen. Cottonwood means high. That's just it, Kimozami. The settlers would be trapped in the valley if the dam broke. They'd have to race for the hills to save their lives. That's right. What is it, Silver Old Boy? No, no. Silver found something ahead. Maybe it's a place to wait. Go ahead, Silver. If only we could see through the dark and storm. There, wait. You see it, Tano? Oh. Uh, old shed there. Good. Now you see him? Yes. Now I see it. The sheep lean to, Tano. One entire side is open. Good for you, Silver. You found shelter for us. Uh, this is plenty good. I'll rest for a little while and get some food from the saddlebags. 
Build up a small fire, Tonto. We'll try to fix some warm meal for the horses. They need it after this trip. Maybe we spend the night here, huh? No. Just to push on. Folks in town may not realize the dangerous condition of the lake. We've seen how high the water is there. What are you doing, Tonto? We see what here. Maybe hay for a horse. It isn't likely. Making sure it'd be safe. Then make them fire. Very well. Wait. Steady, Silver. That danger sign. Someone's coming here. Oh, the dog been hiding there in this house here. has been hiding with us ever since he busted out of the federal prison. Oh, oh boy. Who oh, there? Oh, boy. Yeah, but dog made a first-class hideout in the barn. I tell you, Kelso, dog's a smart man to have for a boss. You ought to know, Malone. You've been trapping with him for a long time. Yeah, I know. Now I'll pass the keg of blasting powder up to you. Right. Uh, I grab a hold. I get it. Uh, must be 50 pounds of powder here. Yeah, there is. It's got to be wrapped in tarpaulin so it'll keep dry on the trip to the dam. Yeah. I wish someone besides me was slated with a job of blowing up a dam. You do the job and you're in the gang for keeps. Go on his own hook if the storm keeps on. Dalton won't wait for that. He wants a flood when he wants it. That'll give us a chance to get the best of the loot that'll be left by the settlers and get it in the hiding place before we clear out. All right, Sammy. When the water's down, we'll sneak back and get it from the hiding place, huh? That's it. Uh, now get for the barn. Wait. Huh? Hold your horse quiet a minute. What's the matter? Were you alone in the shed? Sure, we're alone. But give you any other ID. Thought I heard another horse in here. There, you're local. Who'd be in the saddle this sort of weather? Anyone here? If you are, speak up. That your horse? My horse is still. Mine ain't moving either. I'm going to strike a light and have a look. You keep a hold of that powder. I'll strike a light. Go ahead. Watch now and hold your gun ready. I. Come, Tonto. What the? Oh, who is it? Oh, fire. Oh, oh, there he go. Right past us. Fire some more. I can't see a thing. Knew you are shooting blindly. Uh, they got away. There was two of them. Wait till the boss hears of this. Who was them two and how much did they hear? <laughs> so then the two of them lit out and raced right past us, Dalton. Yeah, did you see them? A fine pair of two men like? you are. Well, I couldn't shoot fast because the horses was between me and them two. And Kelso couldn't shoot fast because he held that keg of powder. Yeah. Well, I tell you, though, Dalton, they must have been hiding from the law. They wouldn't have been there. Hiding from the law or hunting me, one or the other. No one has any idea where to hunt you, boss. I don't know about that. Shucks, who'd worry about hunting you down this sort of storm? Everyone in town's got their hands full of their own troubles. Kelso, you got too blame much to say for a new man. Well, I didn't... Shut up! Yeah, boss, sure thing. You men get that powder wrap so it'll stay dry. If we get that wet, I don't know where we'll get any more. Now, look. If anyone comes here, I'll get out of sight, Savvy. You don't know nothing about me. Meantime, we got to get organized for the cleanup. When do you figure on having the dam blowed up? As soon as it can be arranged. You'll set the blast, Kelso. Yeah, so Malone told me. Each of you men will have some place to go to as soon as the folks are panicked by the flood. Malone will take the general store, get cash and ammunition. Put it in the hiding place and then hightail. Yeah. Blink and Hardy will do the same for the bank. And Hank and Red will take the express office and go to the assay office. Now get it straight. Listen to what's to be done if someone else comes snooping around here. It was morning when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the threatened town. Their tired horses splashed through the muddy streets, halting before the office of Sheriff Bristol. Inside, they saw a group of men, and they could hear the sheriff giving orders. We got to do one or two things, boys, and do it quick. We might try and reinforce the dam with rocks and mud, or try and move them boulders from the south outlet of the lake and let the water flow out that way. Them boulders weigh tons, Sheriff. I know they do, Tom. Besides that, the water's rushing out between them already. 
We'd have to work again the force of the water. Tom, trying to reinforce the dam would be as tough, if not tougher. Well, it's a toss-up. Whatever we do, we've got to do it quick. That dam won't stand much more strain. If she ever lets go, the whole lake will be poured onto the town. Right. Boy! I figure there ain't no use trying to save the town. What, what, that? what do you mean, Lem? I take our families and what we can carry and head for the hills. You doggone quitter. Well, you. some of us got more to leave behind than you got. Yeah, some of us got homes. I'm over trying to save the dam. Well, I don't. I'm for trying to move them rocks on the south side of the lake. If it wasn't for them, the lake wouldn't have filled up in the first place. Well, make your minds up. We might move the rocks if we could only get some blasting powder, but there just ain't any. Wouldn't have no chance of moving them without it. We'll take iron bars or whatever else we can get to use as levers. Maybe we can move enough rocks to let the water out. Is that what you're all decided on? No, I want to get out of here. All right, then. All you men get your horses hitched. Load anything you got in the way of spades and picks. Meet here in 15 minutes. And we'll head for the south outlet of the lake. Sheriff. Huh? What the? I know where there's some blasting powder. You do? Yes. And also an outlaw that's wanted badly. Have you heard of Slick Dalton? Dalton? Great guns. He's the coyote that busted out of the federal prison. He's in hiding not far from here. Hold on. Who are you wearing that mask? There's no time to discuss that now. Come with me and bring a couple of men. We may be able to capture Dalton and get a keg of powder he's planning to use to blow up your dam. Blow up the dam? Yes. To make it possible for him and his men to loot the town during the flood. Why, that ornery... But hold on, mister. I ain't so sure about being able to trust you. You have no choice. You need that powder. You can't move those rocks without it. You say there's a scheme afoot to loot the town? Yes. How'd you learn about it? Don't waste time with questions. Come with me. Well, maybe I'll profit by wasting time. Maybe you're just doing this to get me where I won't be on hand to help the boys. I have no time to argue the point. Come with me or I'll take you by force. Put up them guns. Come with me. You... Tonto will stay here and give the men any message you want. Well, they... Tonto, uh, tell the men to head for the south outlet. The sheriff will meet them there with blasting powder. Tonto, tell them. Now, come along, sheriff, and hope we're not too late. If we meet any men on the way, we'll take them with us. All right, all right, I'll go. But put that gun down. If I find you're trying to... Your men I'll... will go to the lake. All right, I'll take the chance. We need that blasting powder mighty bad. Lead the way, stranger. The townsmen hurried to the lake, hoping to clear away the rocks that blocked its southern outlet. In the meantime, the sheriff, although still not convinced of the masked man story, followed the lone ranger to the old barn where the Dalton gang was stationed. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. We're in here, eh? Yes. You'd better keep your guns handy. Hope the other boys are heading for the rocks. They'll need all the time they can get. I'll call to those men to surrender. How are they, Sheriff? Good work. Looks like they're coming out on their own, Hope. Didn't think you'd manage them like that, Sheriff. Huh? You men are wanted by the law. Come on, Sheriff. The leader is somewhere inside here. Look for him and a man named Kelso. Don't fall for his line of palaver, gents. Sheriff, that there fellow is Dalton. But I reckon you know that. This masked man? You don't believe that. He's been covered. Better take them guns of his. I guess you had word to turn him over to us, didn't you, Sheriff? Now, hold on. Just who is Slick Dalton? That mask hombre, of course. Slick Dalton is the boss of these men. This one is named Malone. He's one of the gang. (laughs) That's a good line of talk. My name is Malone, all right, Sheriff. But me and my pards were sent here by the federal government to corral Dalton. We chased him here and sent word on to you. Reckon the rains must have held up our letter some. How about that blasting powder you got here? Why, we don't have any blasting powder, Sheriff. You had some here last night. Sheriff, search this barn. Kelso and Dalton are missing. They might be inside here someplace. You're welcome to search all your mind, Sheriff. But don't let this hombre get loose. Thought he could hoodwink us, eh? You got any badge of office? Now, there's my federal badge. Stolen from the man Dalton killed. You're free to have a look inside the barn, Sheriff. It's no use. By this time, Kelso and Dalton have gone. They're probably on their way to plant the blasting powder at the dam. Doggone it, I'm going to take you all into custody. And lose priceless time. I'll take that chance. Well, I won't. Someone has to go to the dam and stop those men. You're covered. Stop with that gun. Come on, all right. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The Lone Ranger overheard a plot to destroy the dam holding back the floodwaters that threatened the town of Cottonwood. But when the masked man led the sheriff to the hideout of the outlaws, they claimed the Lone Ranger was an escaped prisoner who had killed a federal officer while shooting his way to freedom. Before the sheriff could prevent him, however, the masked man leaped to the saddle and raced toward the Cottonwood Dam. Come on, Mr. Desperately, where a landslide had filled in the lake's southern outlet. Hip deep in the rushing flood, they labored to clear away the rocks and earth which held back the water. Give me a hand with this bar now. Right on on it. Uh, uh, me, me help me. Uh, can't seem to budge the rocks. Well, try harder. Come on, you. Grab hold here. We gotta move them. All together now. He, he, iron bend them. Uh, Take no use trying with this bar. We got to get some heavier levers under that rock. Yeah. Try another one. The rest of the rocks are bigger than this one, Tom. Take no use. Where's the sheriff, anyhow? Him. Him maybe come soon. Maybe fetch powder. He better come down soon. The dam over yonder won't hold much longer. Tom, the rain is letting up some. Maybe it's going to stop. What if it does? That won't help us none. Well, if the rain stops, the lake won't be filled no higher than what it is now. Who says it won't? All them streams of water in the hills are filled to overflowing, ain't they? Yep, so. And they're all running into Cottonwood Lake. we got to let the water out. Well, we won't do it this way. Well, try again. we got to have some blasting powder. There ain't no other way to do it. We can't stay here doing nothing. Keep trying. Now once more. Yeah. Grab a hold and pull down continued their brave but futile efforts to save the town. While the floodwaters relentlessly poured into the lake, they fought with shovels and crowbars. But unknown to them, the outlaws, Slick, Dalton, and Kelso, had gone to the dam at the other end of the lake. There, they prepared the charge of blasting powder that would shatter the dam and flood the town. Uh, uh, reckon that'd be all right, boys? Mm, that's it. We gotta fix a little hole here so the rain won't put the fuse out. That's heavy. Here. Uh, I'll do that, Diggin. Go ahead. Yeah. Wonder if that stranger's brought any lawmen to the hideout. Alone and the rest have their orders if anything like that happens. Yeah. And if they know what's good for them, they won't forget them orders. Well, yeah. You're in the clear. <laughs> Five minutes after this blast lets go, every man in town will be running for his life. They'll be plenty occupied with their own troubles. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do, won't it? Sure. Now fix the fuse and make it long enough to give us a chance to get away from here. Right. Yeah. How'll this be? Good enough. Come on, Silver! Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. The same man that was in the shed last night. Like that fuse. There he comes, heading up the hill. Come on, Silver! It's coming up here. Light the fuse. The blast will stop him. Hurry it up. The fuse is gone. A run! The hunt! Come on, Silver! <sighs> Get for the horses. Hurry it up, Kelso. Make it. I am. He's shooting. He's masked, boss. Keep running. Stand where you are, or I'll drop you. He's not shooting us. He's shooting at the powder. How do you know? Seen him aim. No, he's heading this way. We, we can't make the horses. We better shoot it out with him. I want you to. Tell him. No, oh, my hand. My gun hand. Drop that gun, Kelso. Don't fire. Don't drill me. Oh, oh, this, Silver. Oh. You got us. Let's get away from here. That powder will let go. The fuse was put out. With, with a bullet? Yes. Riding like you were? Dalton, you stay here until the Lord gets you. I'll rope you. Uh, let me go. My hands hurt. Take that rope back, oh. Silver. We'll rope him tight. Get him, Kelso. Don't let him do this. Don't try for a gun, Kelso. Keep your hands high. 
That'll hold you, Dalton. This is strange. You don't rope me. Let me tell you. I'll... Get that powder keg. You're going to take it where it's needed. Don't leave me here. That day of my bus. Get that powder, Kelso, and move Don't fast. Never mind what the says. We ain't no powder, no sign of that. Powder? Um, he's keeping right to work, drilling into the ground under the rocks for powder, Tom. We may as well help him. It's wasting time. It's wasting time to try and move these rocks any other way. Keep trying. Tackle this rock. Maybe it'll be loose. And some wore out with trying. We can't give up. As long as that dam holds, there's a chance we can save the town. I'll keep it going. You, engine. Come here, give me a hand. Mmm, trunk hole, pick some pole for powder. Never mind that. We need him. We don't need it. We ain't no powder. Friends say powder come. Well, he ain't brought it. Powder come soon. Come on, You hear? What is that? There's a couple men on horses. Who are they? That friend. They're powder. Now we go rock away. Come on! Get ready to set the blast! Hit him the whole can of powder! Powder! Now we can save the town! Boys! Boys, drop what you're doing. Give the redskin a hand. Thank goodness he's been working like he has. He saved a heap of time. Oh, oh there, boy. Oh, oh, there. There's your powder. Thank gosh, we got here. Thank you, Tunnel. Oh, he, he got him. And keep an eye on Kelso. He's one of Dalton's gang of outlaws. He'll be glad to save his neck by telling what he knows about Dalton. I'll watch him. Let that blast. Stranger, how can we thank you? There's more to be done. I'll be listening for the blast. hi Sheriff had thrown the rest of the Dalton gang in jail, planning to hold them until he had proof of their innocence. They protested angrily, but the sheriff refused to listen. I don't give a hang what you say, you are, Malone. I ain't taking no chances. Now, look here. You can't jail us. We're federal men. You say the masked man's Dalton, and he says he ain't. He says you're part of Dalton's gang, and you say you're government men. We got a badge to prove it. When Dalton escaped, he stole a badge from the man he shot. Maybe that's what you got. You're letting Dalton get away. Well, I ain't letting you get away. What's more, I didn't know Slick Dalton rid a white horse that he called Silver. And I never know to crook a Dalton's breed that'd have the nerve to ride off like he done. You hear about this, Sheriff. You just wait. Mm -hmm. Now I reckon I'll have to stay here and guard you coyotes and trust the Tom and the rest to do something about a burden of blood. Sheriff, you... There he is. That's him. That's Dalton. You believe that, Sheriff? Doggone it. I don't know what to believe. Put down them guns and we'll talk it over. No. I'm not going to take another chance of being put into jail while I'm trying to help you. If the real Dalton and the other man I told about blow up that dam, this town will be flooded and everyone in jail will be trapped with no hope of escape. You can't leave us here. Let us go. Let us out. If you've told the truth, Malone, you've nothing to fear. You can't leave us here like this. What if that dam lets go? It isn't likely to. The rain has stopped. What if it's blowed up? Unless you're in the Dalton crowd, and unless my story is a true one, there will be no blast. You yourself said there was no blasting powder, Malone. Then you didn't find none? Whose story do you believe, Sheriff? Well, I'm beginning to decide with you, stranger. That white horse. Seems like I've heard things about... What's that? That sounded like a blast. It was. They blow the dam. They done it. You was right, stranger. They did have powder. Let me out. Let me out of here. Don't leave us to die. Yeah. This town will be flooded in no time. Who blew up that dam? I won't drown to save him. It's Slick Dalton. Where was he? Ain't this him? No, no. Slick Dalton's up at the dam. Do you admit it now? Mm, yeah, and so do I. Uh, Slick Dalton and Kelso. The two of them went up there. They took the blasting powder. They blowed the dam up. They aim to flood the town. Oh, save us, Sheriff. Let us out of here. We'll confess. We'll tell everything. You can't leave us drowned like this. Be quiet a minute. By thunderation, there's a confession for you. You admit you were in Slick Dalton's crowd? <laughs> sure, sure. We admit it all. Unless you were in on the plan, you'd have no way of knowing where that blast was or what it meant. <laughs> we was in on it, I tell you. We was in on it. But it was Dalton's idea. Slick Dalton schemed the whole thing. What else did he plan to do? He aimed to have us loot the town. He's got a hiding place. If you let us go, we'll show you where that hiding place is. 
We'll have to come back after the flood's gone down. Just get us out of here. That's all. So the scheme was just like you said it was, stranger. You're convinced of that, Sheriff? I'm convinced. But now we've got to get out. We've got to run for our lives. There's no danger, the Sheriff. The town will be flooded. There will be no flood. The dam won't break now or any other time. But that blast. That blast meant that the dam was safe. The blasting powder was moved from the dam, where Kelso and Dalton were planting it, to the south end. The blast you heard meant that the rocks are cleared away, and the lake has found an outlet to relieve the strain on the dam. And you done that? Kelso carried the powder for me. I left Dalton tied until you can take him into custody. You'll find him near the dam. The ornery snake. He got us into this. And I'll talk my head off to see Dalton go back to jail. His kind ain't safe for no man to associate with. Stranger, let's let's get out of here. These crooks are safe. After me not believing anything you told me, there ain't no reason why you should believe me. I believe what you tell me, Sheriff. All right, then. Listen here. You know when you escaped from us up by the old barn? Yes. I poured lead at you. Remember that? Yes, but you were a pretty poor shot, <laughs> Sheriff. Maybe so. I heard you call that horse silver. Savvy? Not exactly. I don't generally miss the mark I shoot at, but my bullet sure went wild when I fired at you. Yep. have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.